We're going to talk today about practice techniques, same as every other instrument. I'm going to give you some specific French horn stuff to work on, uh, which is really cool with this whole being out of the classroom thing. It allows me to spend class time making you guys specific private lesson videos for your instruments. And for most people, that's like five people who play the same instrument, but you are going to get a custom designed video all for yourself every week. Um, so we are playing a new piece called Air and Dance by Bruce Pearson. It's a beautiful piece. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, but what we need to start with is the basics, tuning, right? So knowing that this is your first note, this is a concert B flat, which is your F, you're going to find a tuner. Um, tuners can be available pretty much anywhere. Um, Apple, like the iOS store, on the Android Play store, um, the internet, just Google tuners and they will come up, unless you have a tuner of your own, which is great. But you are a concert F instrument. I just set this tuner up in my app for score. You do not need this app, but you just make sure that your foundational note, your F, is clean. <laughs> Shark, but that's because I'm looking at the corner of my eye. It's about eight cents sharp. That's livable right now. Um, once you have tuned, no, you know this is your first note. You're going to take your mouthpiece out, and you're gonna buzz your scale pretty much. So you're gonna spend four beats on every note, right? Uh, so one, two. Ready, go. For the sake of the video's time, I will stop there, but you would come back down, do different patterns of tonguing. Invent your own little patterns. And then I'm gonna teach you how to do long tone practice, which is so important, especially for brass players. Because our partials on French horn are so close together that you can't, you can't miss the note. Like, you can miss the note really easily, is what I should say. So, we are going to play eight beats of every note of our scale and hold them for eight beats. So that means not cracking between partials, and this will take weeks to get. It's the hardest to get on French horn. But I'm going to play eight beats of F, rest for eight beats, eight beats of G, rest for eight beats, all the way through your F scale to your high F. Now, I know that's a little bit outside of your range, but this is how you build the range. This is one of the most best ways to expand your range. Now, metronome, again, you can Google the word metronome and a metronome will come up, set it to 80. I've downloaded an app, it's just called Metronome. Do whatever you need to do to get a metronome. Um, there's a million free ones. So just download one or Google the word metronome. And this is still our first note. Yes, that threw me off a little bit. We are going to play eight notes of every note and then eight beats of rest. Ready? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Five, six, seven. And then F is 
just your first finger down, you can hit it. Then you would come back down. So this is a great way to do it. They don't necessarily have to be eight beats. You can do 10 beats, 12 beats, 14 beats, 16 beats, however long you can hold that note and produce a nice tone. Now my pitches there were good once I settled in, but sometimes I crack at the beginning of a note. And that's what this practice does to help stop. Um, when you play a note as a brass instrument, it's hard to start and hard to end. Once you're in the middle, it's pretty safe. But what you need to do is hit it and maintain it exactly where it is. It needs to sound like. Can't have it sound like. Right? It needs to be a hit, maintain it, cut it off. It's like flying on a plane. You want it to have a good takeoff. You want it to fly pretty smooth and land really smooth. You don't want it to kind of skid off the runway, fly a little bit, and then hit a bunch of turbulence and then like land upside down. Don't let your note do that. Now, let us move on to our final part, which is the piece itself. Um, I'm gonna give you the first French horn part because you are the first and only French horn. First French horn doesn't necessarily mean it's harder than the second horn part. It just means it's sometimes slightly higher. Um, so this week's homework isn't super difficult. It's to play up to measure 33, right? So I'm going to show you what the sounds like. You're going to play along with the recording. And that's, that's about it. So we know it starts on G, right? There's your G. One thing we need to notice straight off the bat, the key signature is different than what we're used for. We're not in F major anymore for you. We're in B flat, which means that not only do you have the normal B flat you're used to, you have an E flat. Now E, F, e you are used to playing. Just open, right? E is just four. But what you need to do now is put your middle and third finger down. That's your low E flat. That's your high E flat. Right? So, all of the E's you see in here, because of the key signature, are now E flats. Now, let's get cracking. Found the starting note. One. Two, start at Let's walk down to that B flat. 
That's your B flat. First finger. So starting at 29, it's. notes for me. I'm good at that high range, but it's B flat with one finger, D with one finger, C open, A one and two, B flat. So let's start at 27 again, right? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> nice is it jumps from a high B flat to a low B flat so you just need to immediately hear the note down an octave to hit it right so lastly before we end today let's play it with the recording all right I am going to rotate my tablet so that I can see all the measures at once it might be a little small for you but you have the PDF of the music ready special eye out, especially as a French horn player, is your instrument is supposed to sound like butter. It's supposed to sound super smooth. So these phrase markings, the slurs that go over large sections of music, you cannot breathe during these sections. Ideally, they want you to breathe wherever there's a breath mark and that's it. You can breathe between them if you need to, if it's an absolute must. Otherwise, try to not breathe for two full musical phrases. Focus on tonguing the notes very lightly in between these notes. It is not supposed to be. Try to keep it as smooth as possible. Even not using the tongue where you can, just using your lips as a partial. So that is your homework for this week. Um, I'll be online, gchat me if you have any questions, send me an email, I will see you, otherwise, I will see you in our Zoom class on Friday. Good luck! <laughs>